amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. This is what I was used to in Arizona. We're moving okay. on up. Moving on up. Chris, man, what's hey, up? Yeah. Hey, how, how you doing? Yeah. Hey, Pedro. He wanted to. <laughs> you know, Pedro, oh, you know, I guess he knows everybody. Yeah, because on, on, uh, on the, uh, how's it going, man? <laughs> Do you know Ruth's trying to know what you need it, I guess. Yeah, I have his phone number. Okay. okay. We're still building it like this one. Wow. Oops. You want to see this guy in this one. <laughs> I told you I was going to work on it. Yeah, he did. He probably got a new tent today. Nothing like yours, but you know. I'll let you so. know, man. I've still got the word out. Oh, hey, like Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, you, you mind if he looks inside? Oh, yeah. yeah, Poppy just brought me a nice big blanket. Oh, wow. well, it's good. Where is it? Where do you go? Mm -hmm. I guess he's gone. Oh, he's been here three times today. This is America, folks. This shouldn't be going on. This is America. Right here in our own backyard, we need help. I'm Evangelist Joseph Romero. I'm out here with the homeless, and we're crying for help so that we can help, help these guys, help these people that are out here. They need tents. They need food. They need some resources. So I, I got to go check it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check it out, check it out. I bought a piece of ground. I must go check it out, right? Another one said, I bought five yokes of auction. You know, he had some cattle. He had, he had some animals. And he said, I got to go check them. Please excuse me. All right, you see two people just made excuse. One bought some real estate. One some ha had some animals. And they said, please excuse me from the supper. To make a long story short, folks, I read on and the servant comes and he tells the master all these things. The guy that prepared the meal. That represents God for those of you not sure. Okay, and, and the master of the house was angry because you know what? He went through all the trouble to make a wonderful meal. He went through the trouble to send out invitations and say, come on, you guys. These were certain people that had a relationship with him. Now check it out. He says, the Lord says to the servant, go out into the streets, into the lanes of the city, and bring the poor. Why? Because the other people that were supposed to be paying attention wasn't paying attention. What do you think you got now, Pastor? What do you think I'm out here? You know what God put on my heart? To be the servant that's going out into the streets and the highways. Why? Because God is wanting me to tell you he hasn't forgotten not one of you. Not Amen. one of you. But you and the chaplain, no, 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 no. as far as I'm concerned port. right now, and i got to be straight. Yeah. You, know, you and port. that chaplain right there are the only two men that I've met in seven years that's a man of your word and do what you say. And say. Did you know? And live by that. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that, pilot. I appreciate that, pilot. You know, the Bible does say that the road is narrow, that few are going to be on it. So God ain't looking for a multitude. But he is looking for that few that says, you know what, I'm not giving up. Amen. That's why we're out here in the streets, in the highways, with the poor, with the hungry, also the widows, also the orphans, 
everybody because God doesn't want us to forget about you. I'm Evangelist Joseph Romero, but I have turned all my effort, all my energy, all that I am to helping the homeless. It's that bad. And I want to thank you for doing what you're doing. Because if you weren't doing what you're doing, you wouldn't have the resources to sow into this ministry and help me be out there. Not part-time, but full-time. It is that critical. Somebody has to do it. But I can tell you that no one is doing it in the fashion that I'm doing it. It's not about feeding the homeless. Yeah, we do feed the homeless every week and sometimes three times a week. But that's not what it is. That gets the barriers down so that we can go build those relationships with them, build some trust so that we can really help them with all the rest of the stuff that they need in their life. I have a special kind of gifting. I can tolerate a lot of people that most people can't tolerate. So thank you for sending me out there and allowing me to minister to these people and help them. You know, sometimes we have to hold people's hands. Yeah, I know they're not babies, but they're my babies. And I love them and I love the difficult people that everyone else rejects. I have to remember, where would I be if people gave up on me? I came from drugs. I came from alcohol. I came from life controlling problems. And I remember times where I didn't have a place to stay. So, for me to you, let this be the very beginning. Because this is a movement to make a difference in America. And put help where help belongs, right here in the USA. Thank you so much. And have a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Yeah.